Even in 2018, where women have seemingly broken into every sport, some sports still have room for firsts. Callie Brownson is one of those firsts. Her journey brings her to the sidelines of Hanover, New Hampshire with Dartmouth football. So I grew up always feeling like if you want something, go get it. And that's exactly what Callie Brownson has done. She's the offensive quality control coach for Dartmouth football. That makes her the first full-time female football coach at the Division I level. Callie gravitated toward the sport at a young age and played youth football with the boys. But as she got older, she wasn't always welcome. I tried again in high school uh, as a freshman and, and was pretty much told no, that uh, you know there wasn't really a place for women in the program. The door was kind of shut in my face when I wanted to do it, um, you know, which was a hard thing to go through. And I thought football on the playing side of it and being active in it was over at that point. But after high school, the door to Cali's football world opened again. When I went to college, I heard about the Women's League. And for me, I looked them up immediately on YouTube and saw it and was just, oh my gosh, women are playing football and, and I, this is another chance for me. Cali had a successful playing career to say the least. She won two national titles in the Women's Football Alliance, served as a five-time team captain and won two gold medals in the Olympics. But as she transitioned from player to coach, the uphill battle didn't get any easier. Callie's been involved in football her entire life. So the hard part isn't the rules, the terminology, or the playbook. It's earning respect as a woman in what's historically been a man's game. So the biggest challenge there is being able to, to show your competitiveness and your knowledge. And you know it's hard for women to be able to say, I do know my stuff, and I do work hard, and I do belong here. So I think that's the biggest challenge, ultimately just entering the football world. As Callie entered the Dartmouth football world, she was welcomed with open arms. She excelled as an intern in preseason, and then this happened. And I've been very, very impressed, uh, so impressed with her that I'd like to offer her a position with us this year. With the big green, she's viewed as a qualified, hardworking coach, independent of gender. And she just said flat out, coach, I want to coach. That's what I want to do. And she proved it by her preparation and then her performance. And she is. Uh, I hired a great coach who happens to be a woman. I had not thought once, like, hey, there's a woman on our sideline. It was, no, we have another coach on our sideline that is helping us get to where we want to be. At Dartmouth, Callie plans on working hard and setting a strong example for the future of all women in the sport. That's the goal, is for this to be normalized and for women to be on the sidelines and it not be something that you have to double take at. Callie also told me she looks forward to the day when a woman on the Division I sidelines becomes repetitive and common to the point that it's no longer a story at all.